We should have been more prepared. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a dramatic enough pose? I've eaten my lunch, I've eaten my snack, I've, I've, I've got I've, I'm ravenous. I'm trying to think, hang on, no, you've got to give me a chance, you're not, you're filming now. <laughs> cut that out, I'm embarrassed that cut, that. cut cameras. Uh, what are your names? Madison. Ruby. Oh, I can see that one. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Wayne, right? Megan. Colin. Leah. Tati. <laughs> Tyler. Emily. Mia. Tati. 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 My name is Mr. Bennett. Can we start again, please? <laughs> and everyone in the whole year is going to see this. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been teaching at King Bean? Forever. 15 years. Six years now? A whole five years. Too long. Four years. Five. Four. Five. Eight, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five years. <laughs> what was the question? The classroom environment is incredibly quiet, incredibly studious. Not a single joke, nothing ironic, nothing sarcastic has ever said in my lessons. When Reese isn't singing, it's a happy place to be. When he is, puts me in a bad mood for the rest of the day. Lively. Um, and I wish it were not so sometimes. <laughs> really fun, sportive, educational. Bubbly, fun most of the time. Uh, and engaging. Smelly, productive, sensible. Wait, are you recording that? Yeah, yeah. we've been English. recording. Geography, maths, they're recording now. <laughs> I don't like Thursdays because I always, it doesn't matter. Every week, it's, it, I think it's Friday. <laughs> and it really upsets me. It's Thursday today. I know. Friday. No. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday, after school, school visits. visits. <laughs> Wait, okay. I don't like Wednesdays. And what about everything's in common? <laughs> What is your favourite part of your working day? Favourite part of my working day? I mean, it would be unfair to say going home, but I do like lunchtime a lot. Biology. I like physics. Well, with science. And maths. Maths, yeah. Physics and maths. Sessions. RS, we sit there and do nothing. RS, we sit there and do nothing. RS, we sit there and do nothing. I love my sessions. I love an after school sesh. Probably maths. You just can't be a good Friday session with a good group of sessions. It's just good to get your head around things and get your brain working and functioning, <laughs> solving your problems. Maths, because of my teacher and like the maths department in general is just, I love it. Why? Um, I quite like English um, and that is mainly purely for the reason because of Mr. Lindsay. Yeah, English and it was better when Liam wasn't here. Home time, isn't that for everybody? What normally happens is when I step up to bat, the fielders go all the way to the back because they know how you know, how strong I am <laughs> and how far I'm going to hit the ball. So essentially what will happen is they'll go, Weymouth's in, move back. And I'll go, oh, OK, guys, right, keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> I look at who the pitcher is. Normally they can't throw very well because only a student. And then I'll just hit as fast as I can and they'll go all the way to my back usually if I'm lucky. Thanks. Tell me about your tutor, what are they like? Who are they? He used to let us be late, but now he doesn't let us be late anymore. So I don't know, Sherry. What's, he, what's he like? What's he been like for you over the past five years? Had a haircut yesterday, so. <laughs> Mr. Dunk's a really good tutor. Yeah. He's really switched on. He's alright, he's alright. Yeah? Getting a bit old. <laughs> Can I say that? Always on the move, always looking suspicious. <laughs> My favourite thing about Mr. Bennett is when we had a year nine to play. He brought an umbrella just to shield us all from the sun. I thought that was really sweet yeah. and that really sums up what kind of a tutor I remember is. getting really jealous about that. Why do you think he's so suspicious? Just the way he walks. <laughs> the way he walks and talks. How do you feel about the reading scheme? Oh, it's absolutely, absolutely horrible. horrible.
Do you want to get in frame this? Concentrate until I have the banana. But... What's the best thing about your cheetah group? Just a friendly, smiley bunch. And a friendly, smiley bunch of people are, are nice to be with. Most of them are taller than me now, <laughs> considering they're a tiny little year seven in the cave. The smiles, um, the fact that when they're quiet, they're happy. Uh, the fact that they do contribute in their own way. They started off as a really nice group of people and they're still a really nice group of people. It's been a brilliant, brilliant five years. It's been such, uh, such good fun. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it not being a roller coaster. They are funny, they have a really good sense of humour. We were fairly clueless as to how we were going to go about sports day, but there was one of the events was tug of war. And, um, and we all got quite excited about the tug of war. And we had a few um, people in the tutor group that were turned out to be really good at tug of war. And we beat everybody. <laughs> tug of yeah. war was horrific. Very hot summer's day. Uh, all six tutees out there, two groups out there. We had, a, we had a massive team. We lost all five tutor groups, which is horrific. What's the most surprising? Um, that some of them go to the gym, which I was actually very impressed with. <laughs> Sophia Richardson, that one goes to you. Who's my favourite year 11 student was my last question. Did you say me? No. <laughs> a student once told me that his ear had fallen off. <laughs> which I mean, it's probably the weirdest thing I've ever heard. And he, he still had his ear on his head. So. It was put in the microwave and you got damp and it caught on fire. Uh, he wasn't in here 11 at the time, but Oscar told me that the reason he hadn't done his homework was because Stefan hadn't completed it, so he had nobody to copy it from. <laughs> Alexander uh, decided to ask me what a wetter paragraph was towards the end of year 11. I think we had, a, we had an interesting little conversation, didn't we? I didn't threaten violence on him at all, honestly. But, you know, we, we, he certainly has. You've been interesting, haven't you, Alex? I have been, Harry. A bit too much detail about what they needed to do on the toilet and that it took quite a long time. Oh, I walked into a year eight, sat on the toilet. <laughs> I mean, recently, a told us that she likes to wee in the bath. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. The toilets. <laughs> Once I was sat home and he just sent a video of him on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, don't put this in. Wait, hang on. Let me. Okay. Well, I was hoping that you would mature a little bit, but that ship sailed a long time ago. <laughs> Who's your favourite teacher and why? Miss McCulloch. <laughs> He's just brilliant. When you came back after the um, free three, four, five months of not being in school last year. In September, there was no one hanging about saying, oh, I can't forward anymore. You just kind of picked up where you were and just carried on. You've got so much resilience. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Leaving already. Matt is actually really sitting on their music in my life, have Have you got any funny stories about us over the last five years we've been here? None at all. You're boring as hell. I got booted in the head of a football and I got a concussion. <laughs> I can't say that I'd be cancelled. Right, over lockdown, we were um, we were in English, and I didn't realise my mic was unmuted, so I started singing High School Musical. But gotta go my own way. They try and go too fast, yeah. and they kind of fall <laughs> on the treadmill. When I cold called a really really nice boy, like so polite, and I think he forgot his audience and answered with your mum. Hello, being nice. <laughs> Often, as you can probably tell, Mr. Thomas is coming to tell us to quiet him down because we are very noisy. And just once, just once, I had to go and tell him to quiet him down. And when I got back to my class, we all went, yes! <laughs> when Fahad said he wanted to blend my budgie and eat him on toast <laughs> during lockdown because he made quite a lot of noise. Uh, Mr. Wainwright came to the door to swap the car keys because he was picking the children up and the lovely boy at the back asked whether he was my son. <laughs> and George fell off the bench, fell into Ben's arms and then Ben fell down and they ended up in this really um, funny position. So we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I'd say one time we were, we were walking along from PE and me and Ruby were making sheep noises gently terrorise the young he is by making animal noises. Can you do the sheep noise for me? Okay, can you do it with me? Oh, I'll leave this all to you. No, no, we'll do it together. Okay, you ready? Oh, I don't know the sheep noise. Okay, you ready? What would you 
you say Coomdeen has taught you? It's like every other school. Same thing. No, not like the subject. <laughs> like a life value that you're taking away. Something about life that you're taking away. As cliche as it sounds, probably how to make friends with us is like a really it's like a really diverse group of people. So you think King Dean's made you a nicer person? Yeah. He came in as a bully. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your favourite memory from school? Oh. The friendships we make along the way. We've had tears, we've had tantrums, um, but you guys have really come through. But this year I think it's such, it doesn't feel final. They try their absolute best and I tell them every day they're amazing. There is no boundaries to your knowledge. Their class has been turned from a class into a family. Oh, I'm really going to miss my class, I'm really <laughs> going to miss you all. I love year 11, it's literally my favourite year group. I'm going to be very, very sad when I go. I miss how easy it is probably like, it's no, no like, when you get older it gets harder, so. Everything, uh, yeah, my lovely students, um, the pseudo hard work they were putting in, because they were telling me they were working hard, but they weren't really. I'm leaving everyone, so I'm going to miss you all, um, especially Florian and Emily, because like, uh, I think that we'll be sad to see you go, actually, um, but also have some, some fond memories of, uh, of, of challenging times, but times we've got through together. My music group has been the most amazing class. I've enjoyed teaching you so much, and you've honestly been one of the best classes I've ever had the pleasure of teaching. Uh, just to wish you all the very best on the, that next part of your journey. You'll probably get this on all of us. <laughs> and I'm just looking forward to working with you in the development continue to see what a difficult couple of years you've had and you've been so good natured we've enjoyed having you in the block um, and uh, all the very best wishes to you all well i was lucky enough to come to coom dean and i just saw the last of, i saw two years of you year, current year 11s and it's been an absolute pleasure you've been a lovely year well that's the end of it then coom dean completed it mate well done year 11 hope you have an awesome time best of luck with everything and uh, expect to see you all at the door coming in telling us what you're up to how things are going well it's been a real privilege to be with you guys my first year at the school was actually when you all were in year seven so you're the first year group that i've seen all the way through uh, i will miss you guys um, genuinely all the best um you know you've worked hard enjoy this summer off good luck and everything goes very well just stay being brilliant and i look forward to seeing you in the future you've all been amazing the whole time that i've worked with you and yeah, good luck for everything that you do. You've all been, you've been a fabulous year group, wonderful year group. You've been so resilient and so gutsy and you're just all wonderful kids. Thank you, Year 11, for being absolutely fantastic. Good luck with everything in the future. And I'm going to miss seeing my lovely ladies in PE. Take care. Lots and lots of love and best wishes for the future. I will very much miss you. Thank you for your um, patience. Thank you for, what else have we um, been through together? All the nonsense, um, all the other, uh, with all the other classes and all the noise that we put up with outside LA2 and the fun times we've had. What do you think's going Keep on? being yourself. Yeah. As much as I don't talk to a lot of people in the year, everyone seems pretty cool in their own way. Yeah. Yeah. The ten years I've seen on the newspaper is as the most wanted man <laughs> for, uh, for not a successful rich man. No, the most wanted for like horrible things. Good luck. You're all be absolutely amazing. Be nice human beings. Yeah, let us know what you're up to. Come and see us in school. Don't let anybody make the decisions in your life for you. Make your own plan. All the inspirational stories we're told of are people who've done something amazing. Mm. And I would like to say that most of you will have ordinary lives, and then that's good. Mm. Ordinary is good. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you do have an amazing life, that's brilliant. But you can have an amazing life, which is also ordinary. Good luck to the whole of year 11. Um, we'll miss you. All the best for the future. It's been an absolute pleasure knowing you. And I, you're always welcome, no matter what. Um, well, just enjoy. You have finished year 11. Things will change, certainly. Um, it'll be different, for some of you will be better, some of you might not be as good. But just enjoy every single step of the way. Yeah, you'll miss me when I'm famous. Very best of luck. You've been brilliant. You've been great role models for the rest of the school. And you're going to be a great success in whatever you choose to do. If we can help you, come back and we will support you in any way we can. Look after yourselves. Have a great summer. Enjoy yourselves, not too much, and be safe.
Take care. Good luck. Well done. You've done really well this year. Most important thing is just contribute positively to society um, and, uh, and live your lives to the full. And, um, and we'll be proud of you, whatever you do. Hi Year 11s, it's Miss Wood here, aka the best cover supervisor in the world. Aka Karen. Excuse me. Um, I just wanted to say how uh, proud I am of you and how much I'm going to miss you guys. I've known you since you were yay high. Just wanted to say I miss you and good luck. There are some people uh, that I won't miss though and I've written a list of them here. So here we go. Is that good enough? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. a lot of lying there. Thank you.